Hey everybody and welcome back to my videos, my name is Passimus and we got another banger tonight. Um, in this video we're gonna check out one weapon. Yes sir, you guessed it, I'm talking about Sakura's Hatchet from Naruto 99 contest. Now, I don't normally do these weapon guide things, but uh, in this video we're gonna check this weapon out. And I hope that with my guide, you will be able to fight with this weapon more better. Guys, as you can see, I normally don't fight as a full combat healer, but as for this time, I decided to make an exception. I mean, take a look at this awesome combos this weapon can do. In my opinion, this weapon is really awesome, so let me know what you think about this weapon. Let me know in the comment section. And guys, before we go to the weapon tutorial, I want you to hit the like button and also the subscribe button for me. Thanks. Now let's go! First things first, the light combo. Next heavy attack and heavy attack combo. This might be the best heavy attack we got in the healers. Cause it's short and fast enough to defend yourself against an attack. Next light attack combo in the ear. And also the same combo with the heavy attack at the end. Next light attack combo with the heavy attack in the end. Heavy attack combo in the air. Now these aerial attack combos can be combo cancelled, meaning that you press either jump button or the dash button at the air. And the same comes of course with the light attack combos as well. Practice to use this and they'll come handy in the combat, I promise you that much. For example this guy, he really wanted to challenge me for a fight, he had the same axe, but um, I didn't give him any chance to even heal up. <laughs> no, you won't be healing up. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Go that way. So guys, whenever you fight with the Sakura's Hatchet, practice a little bit with combat cancel. Because it'll come really handy, handy in a combat. Also, practice this. Dash and cancel the dash to make the shoulder thrust. Like this. As we all know, the triangle attack on a healer usually breaks the enemy guards. So yeah, that move is really awesome. Whoo, giving all you got, huh? <laughs> all right, let's do this. So I'll begin really like these ditches I got right here. I got nervous system rupture and also 80 guards vacuum fist. And if you want to make it, some more kick to the Edicard vacuum piece. Use bomb to now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Alright. I'll let you go for now. I know you'll be back though. That's what these rangers do these days. They try to jump. Okay, there comes the first. Second. And the third was over there. <laughs> and you missed them all. <laughs> Good job. So, here's a lesson number one, never miss, never miss. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, okay. Time to get some distance now. Yeah, just as I thought. So they were trying to jump me. Well, I'll show them. <laughs> I'll jump them. Oh, good night. Pray, now. Lights up. <laughs> I know they they were mad, they were mad. <laughs> oh chill out Shishui Let me go Mind your own business Mmm 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 mm. Yeah Like that huh Like that Alright let's move on Now why is it that people use a cheese build a lot in a pit? I mean can't you guys manage without like, using cheese or toxic builds or toxic weapons? I mean, really, where's the creativity of the build in Shinobi Striker these days? Come on, it's get, it gets real boring. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys, for watching my video. Thanks and bye.